UNLV heads to Oregon State, and this is the first time I think UNLV has gone to Oregon State. So tricky, tricky spot for uh, for these guys. All right, UNLV is favored by seven and a half right now, which is a lot of points. But it does kind of make sense because this team has looked really, really good. As you can see on the screen, they're number 23 in PPA margin. Uh, the total on this, by the way, is 61 and a half. I mean, it's a lot of points. A lot of points we're expecting offense in this one. UNLV is number 23 in predicted points added margin. Uh, Oregon State is number 78 in predicted points added margin. Oregon State better on offense. Defense is not so good. Obviously, that's not what you want when you were going up against a team like UNLV with that go-go offense from Brennan Marion. But um, Oregon State, I do think, is good enough to be able to run the ball. And as you can see, they're number 14 in PPA per rush on offense. I think they will be able to move it on UNLV. This is a, I mean, Racer Stadium is serious. This is the place, I mean, it's nightmare fuel for opponents. I know Oregon State isn't great this year, but they're still okay. This is not a terrible football team. Uh, And I know UNLV has been awesome. I know that. But when I look at this, I mean, Oregon State right now, um, they, they played Colorado State. They lost at Nevada last week. But now they're coming back home off of a loss. They're going to be fired up. UNLV, you look at their schedule. And, uh, and yeah, they have played Fresno State, a loss to Syracuse at Utah State. And now they've got at Oregon State the week before they play Boise State at home. A little bit of a look-ahead spot maybe for UNLV, who wants to win the Mountain West. This is not a Mountain West game. There's a bit of a look-ahead. You see my numbers. My numbers like UNLV by a point. On the last four weeks, it's got UNLV by five. That is still not seven and a half. I think that's a crazy number. Uh, yes, some of the advanced stats certainly don't look good for Oregon State, but that's still a tough place to play. So I will, um, I will take Oregon State plus the seven and a half on this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.